Other than this lopsided bun. <laughs> Technology and they're not used to vlogging. Cause I will put that in the vlog. I've done it before. Men's or women's is buy three, get three. All awesome. right. I have a question for you. What's yeah. the semi-annual as you can see, I picked up the shower gel of the white t-shirt because you already know what time it is. I said it. This out. needs all the perfume. 3.4 ounce. I'm not hating with the 1.7 ounce. I just feel like, you know, if... Oh. Oh. Yes, again. <laughs> Ooh, it was tough getting this started. It's um laying in the bed a little extra time. Still morning, uh, reflecting on what we're doing today. There's one thing I want to resonate with you. One out of very many, many things out of this video. Do you know that God has called you to do something? Doesn't matter if anyone else approves. Don't quit. Do not quit under any circumstances. Do you know without a shadow of a doubt, God has called you to do a particular thing. Do not quit under any circumstances. Don't be mad. Let them fuss. Let them say whatever they want to say. Really? Other than this lopsided bun. <laughs> We got to get ready so we can head out to our stores, which we're going to keep a surprise this time. By the time, by the time you guys see the vlog, you'll know what it is. But let's go. Shea and cocoa butter oil gel, also known generically as the uh, baby oil gel. I can't believe I went so long without it after first discovering it long, long, long ago. And it smells good too. There's enough of the smell to it where it's not overpowering, but like you know, it's like a type of you know, when you smell it, it's a gourmand type of thing. Cocoa butter, Shea butter, you know. I forgot where I'm aware. This is the fit. And no, I have not found out a new name for this. So it is what it is. I've not worn this top in a minute and I've had it for a while, a couple years actually. I think they got it from Walmart. Not likely to be in stores, you know. I think it was one of those seasonal things. But let's get to those stores. And we're back. Yeah, Lakeland Square Mall. So Bath and Body Works, they have their spring collection out. I'll be working on their summer collection. And the last time I was here was the winter semi annual sale. No, the 550. Hopefully, we don't encounter anybody that still. It's not up to date with technology and they're not used to vlogging. Because I will put that in the vlog. I've done it before. These are so cute. Look. Yeah. <laughs> but we're here and we'll see what we'll get. Let's get ourselves a basket. You know, Bath and Body Works, I think their culture is they blare music, probably depending on the location and the franchise and where they are. So here was the aromatherapy collection. As you can see, they've expanded it to include essential oil sprays in those smaller bottles, which I'll be zooming in a bit later in this video. 
So this particular time that I visited, they had the uh, body scrubs and also I saw some new additions as well. These bars of soaps, these Shea Butter Bar Soap cleansing bars to be exact. I almost every scent except for a select few had these Shea Butter cleansing bars. I said, finally, that completes the whole regimen. That completes the whole thing. Now, a few are still missing all the perfumes and they're selective about that. But for the most part, the fragrances in the collections, particularly the popular ones, the second most popular and so forth, they're beginning to get bars of soaps added to the collection to complete a whole set. So if you're wanting to gift give, Mother's Day is around the corner. I keep saying that, but it is. Because <laughs> I was wondering why I was seeing across the different stores I've been sharing with you guys in vlog form, why that that's it's perfect for this. So I like that I was seeing a lot of products added to fragrance collections I hadn't seen before, including this room, room spray here. They also expanded the aromatherapy as well. A lot of hand soaps, 295 is going on right now at the time of this video. So just be quick about it. Also, they expanded the men's collection to include the bar soaps for almost every scent. I wanted to see what bourbon smelled like. Now, it's a little muted from what I smelled, but ultimately it will match with the whole regimen. So, you know, Father's Day is right after Mother's Day. So, you know, don't waste any time. <laughs> Absolutely love with what Bath and Body Works are doing with what they got going on. I mean, you get a complete set and wait until the right time when they're having a sale and you got the jackpot. Get yourself a matching gift basket. And you got it. The perfect gift. Perfect gift. All my men's or women's is by three get three. Awesome. All right. I have a question for you. When's yes. the semi-annual sale? June. 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 Okay. You got to come in June. You got to come in June. Yeah. I came last year. I was like, okay. All the smells we even have now, but the old packaging of them, mm -hmm. the back, you know, because all these smells get new packaged a lot of them. So. Nice. Yes. Oh, yeah. yes. Thank you for the support if you watch or if you refer. I will. All right. All right. So you heard the clerk there. Semi-annual sale is in June. In case you were wondering, and give y'all the plug. <laughs> I also was curious, and I needed to find out as well. And I said, you know what? I might as well include that for you all, in case for those of you that are wondering. Now, the men's collection, they've expanded with these bars of soap. Each one of them, they smell like a slightly muted version. This is from Smell Only, because I'm not ever trying this, but I do like to smell. That is what I do enjoy. Um, they, have, they are a slightly muted version of the actual full force scent of the whole collection, as far as the men's collection is concerned. I didn't smell each and every one of them, but I got pretty close with what I was smelling. Also, they added these uh, shower poofs, which have a handle on them. And I'm trying to actually put it back on the display and it just would not do it. It would not look. <laughs> it would not do for anything. Now, you see here bourbon, the bar soap here. That's the travel size um, cologne right next to it. And then we have this bar of soap here. Like the packaging is excellent. I love the whole aesthetic of each individual fragrance. Whether it's for the men like what you guys are seeing now. Or for us ladies. Then there's a cologne here. I think that was half an ounce. Also they added antiperspirant deodorant. I'm hoping that that's aluminum free, but if not, I'm just throwing that out there, Bath and Body Works. Add the aluminum free deodorant to the collection so you can give people more than one choice that might not want the antiperspirant. Just, you know, you know, just putting that out there. Then we have teak wood next to the bourbon. And I just decided, you know what, since I have <laughs> been starting off with the men's collection, I might as well do that with this time around. 
So technically, I, they switched things up. And so I went through the aromatherapy first. But then right after, I'm getting into the teak wood. I really love seeing all the new additions to everything. And these shower poofs here change every two weeks. Else you're playing a dangerous game. <laughs> the indentation of Bath and Body Works logo in the handle to those things. That's nice. It's a really nice touch. You really could put together an entire collection. Then we have here the fresh water. And I will let you guys see the rest of the men's collection before we get back to what they have for the ladies. So we have here, You're the One. This is a nice, fresh, modern fragrance, but it's like, it's not my style. I still have a few bottles of that left that I should probably bring back here to Bath and Body Works for a trade-in because I still have a good amount of it left and I don't believe in wasting it. I believe that could be for someone else, you know, to enjoy that likes it. So we have Into the Night. And they had a bubble bath I hadn't seen before. That was really nice and it looked really shimmery. Then we have all the summer scents here. The Fiji, why, that one, <laughs> the Bahamas passion fruit one. Fiji sunshine and guava teeny. I had my eye on this particular one and also the sand and sea salt scrub. The smell was very interesting. It's, an, it's definitely an acquired smell. Definitely. We have Waikiki Beach Coconut and the Bahamas Passion Fruit and Banana Flower. That one was really nice. And by the time I got here with the Fresh Getaway, it looks similar to the packaging of White T-Shirt. There is a video right about now. I made a couple months ago of seven retired fragrances that Bath and Body Works should bring back, and white t-shirt was one of them. For that white, uh, for that fresh getaway, they have a bar of soap for that. I was expecting to see a bar of soap for the white t-shirt, which I will get to soon. So we have pastel skies, and we have white t-shirt. I had been hearing about this quite a bit, but I'm so glad they brought it back. And they have the fresh coconut and cotton right next to that. Then they have here the rest of the Pastel Skies collection of body cream, the fragrance mist. As you can see, I picked up the shower gel of the white t-shirt because you already know what time it is. I said if I found a whole collection and the fragrance mist at the time I made that video was I couldn't find the fragrance mist anywhere. Anywhere. I said as soon as I see it, it was on. And... um. <laughs> by accident i grabbed the um the tester body cream for the white t-shirt which i wasn't able to purchase for obvious reasons i was just not paying attention i was so excited and um the packaging for the shower gel as you can see it's no longer translucent it's this solid color with the label of what the particular fragrance is now for some of those some of the fragrances it still has the transparent shower gel bottles but as you can see white t-shirt is one example of what they're doing so there's a lot of repackaging of the products i'm not sure why they do that but um you just have to watch for that because sometimes you may stumble across a fragrance where it looks it looks like it's new and it's just it it's just a repackage. That's all. I'm not an eucalyptus type of girl, but I wanted to just include this for you all that, you know, this is your thing. This is your category of fragrances. Now, Champagne Toast here. I decided to get a whiff of this just because, you know, you hear enough about a particular product. It's like, okay, once you're, you have, once you're in front of it, it's like, let's, let's really see what the hype is about. It smells really good. And it smells like fancy parfum, like really nice upscale, like perhaps a little, you know, just a level underneath Burberry Dior 
Chanel. Just, just a little, let's almost there. Almost there. Now, this was the big display here near the entrance of the store. And I wanted to get a gander of this as well. This is also another one outside of Champagne Toast. I almost got that as well as this Buttercups and Berry Bellini. I like that in that particular scent that when I smelled it and I got a whiff of it, it was just enough cross between sweetness and floral. It was neither, you know, neither one was too much. I like that. Now this was another scent that I really was not too particular about. It smells good, but maybe it's the fact that it's been hyped up a lot. I don't know. I really wasn't able to get into it and, and neither could I see myself purchasing it. But then again, you know, this is just a store run to see what they have. And you know, maybe if I smell it again, it, you know, on my next trip, whenever that shall be. Maybe I'll change my mind, but I wasn't sure about it on this round. Then we have the wallflower. That is gorgeous. The wall matching wallflower to go with that. Then we have the shower gel. Here's another one of the new packaging where you can't actually see the product through the bottle. It's no longer transparent. They've added bubble baths. The body... Um, butters and body scrubs look different and some particular scents have a gift set like you guys are seeing and some do also have the body scrubs in the squeezable tubes which is actually freaking awesome though. So we have here a brand new fresh look for Into the Night. Now, earlier in this vlog, I saw the previous design, but they've repackaged this into this nice sleek, kind of, you know, real nice, real grown, real grown type of packaging. I don't know if I like it, but it is, it's, it's nice. It's nice. I, I'm more familiar with the previous packaging. But this is almost similar to the packaging of Noor from the men's collection of Bath and Body Works. We have here strawberry pound cake, which I was almost picked up. And this is this actually smells really, really great. Like you you want to smell like a very freshly eaten, freshly sliced strawberry. This it, it's the closest thing to it. If you don't eat them, but you like smelling like them much like myself, then um, it works. It works. We have here Sunshine Mimosa. So that got a makeover. Japanese Cherry Blossom got a makeover. And these. These caught my eye when I came over to this section, but I hadn't gotten to them until now. So there is a Shea Butter Cleansing Bar of Soap in the Japanese Cherry Blossom scent. Love, absolutely love seeing that they've added bar soaps to the collections now. So we have here, of course, the buy three, get three free, all body care, which they have recently included the aromatherapy. The, um, one of the um, clerks there at the store told me, and, I, and that makes it 10 times better because there's some really nice things in that aromatherapy collection. A little later down the line, I will show you guys where they have a massage oil in some of the aromatherapy fragrance collections. Like, that's freaking awesome. Then we have here most of the other previous scents from last year. 
Moonlight Path, one of my favorites. I did not pick it up today. It, it just wasn't time, but they brought it back. That was also in the list of fragrances that I retired fragrances at the time that I wanted to come back. So that's two they've brought back out of that list. And I need to look at that list again. These are all the Shea Butter Cleansing Shops. I don't know what's going on with my words. <laughs> also, is it pronounced Shea or Shea? Because, you know, just I'm wondering. Either way, if you know what I'm talking about, and it's great for your skin. Um, let's just carry on. Yeah, okay. I picked up the Black Cherry Merlot bar soap, but eventually I did put that one back when I got to the register just because I like having the whole collection and I didn't see any of the Black Cherry Merlot of the body care that I could see. Perhaps that sold out during the previous semi-annual sale, the winter one they just had a couple months ago. So we have there the candle here that should be a body care fragrance. Just just throwing that out there, Bath and Body Works. Mahogany teakwood smells like a cologne. Smell like a good smelling grown man. Smells real nice. <laughs> so we're here in the candle and wallflower sections here. I have yet to get into that. These are the room sprays. And I think the smaller candles are the soy candles. I didn't get a chance to take a closer look. Just, this is just a trip for us both, me and you all, to just see what they have in store. Now, I like this packaging here. It's just, it's really simple and simplistic. Um, lots of linen, laundry type of smells, eucalyptus rain. Very nice smells that I was seeing here, including this coconut and velveteer. I think this one smelled, if I remember, like um, good smelling leather and um, a man's cologne. Okay. <laughs> then we have all the summery scents and this display of these pineapple things. That is, I mean, I love... I'm a, if you can't tell, I'm a sucker for displays in stores like that. Like, really nice. I really commend the staff everywhere, not just this location, for all the hard, 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 hard work that goes into putting these displays up, including the products. Now, they have the gift sets out here because it's Mother's Day approaching soon. Japanese Cherry Blossom, A Thousand Wishes, Pure Wonder. All the cute gift sets and the packaging for that. I mean, I love the packaging. This this is fantastic. Strong as a mother.
And while waiting in line to check out the cutest little things for these um, pocket hand sanitizers, that's my trip. A couple months ago, I made a list of fragrances for Bath and Body Works. Seven in particular that they need to bring back. And this is one of them they brought back finally. By the way, semi-annual sales in June. Look what's back. White t-shirt. And since I've only ever heard it ranted and raved about amongst the other ladies here on YouTube, I have nothing else to compare it to except for starting with this. I'm excited. I said, if I find the whole collection, I'm getting it. Now, I went in stores. Now, this smells like a really nice, fine, upscale, expensive perfume. This is the Aloe and Vitamin E Shower Gel. I said back then, just a couple months ago when I made that video, that if I had a chance to try the whole collection, because I was already looking for it underneath the old packaging shower gel, and I see the body cream, but I just wouldn't see the fragrance. <laughs> I said I would get it. So that's the shower gel. And then I did pick up the body cream, but then it was the um it was the the tester. And then the clerk let me know about it. I'm like, oh, I don't want to take the tester home. <laughs> and they were actually out at the location I went to of the white t-shirt body cream. So I've got to snag that one. I might have to revisit them or buy it online. This one is a close second that they recommended a fresh getaway. So this is really close to white t-shirt. That's what they say. I can already tell you from smelling the shower gel just now and smelling this one. This is the, the sweeter of the bunch, but they both smell like very expensive upscale perfume. I just, I don't know, it's just really beachy. Because, you know, summer is approaching quickly. Bath and the Bahamas Passion Fruit and Banana Flower. I've got the moisturizing body wash. We, we got to get into that. That smells so good and it's so fitting for spring and summer. I've had my eyes on this since the last time I was at Bath and Body Works. This is the Beachy Glow Body Lotion. So this actually sprays out and it has glitter particles in it. Perfect for that melanin skin and that brown skin and, you know. And the packaging is pink and yellow and tropical. Can't wait to see what that glow looks like on my skin. And I finished that off with a Bahamas Passion, the Fine Fragrance Mist of it. Now, you know, I'm not the biggest fan of the Fine Fragrance Mist, but because this is a new fragrance, I'll try it out, and when it runs out, I'm going to be, well, actually before then, if I like it, I'm going to be looking for the Auto Parfume. Absolutely going to be looking for it. It smells good. It's just, um, it, it has the perfect balance of, like, sweet and floral in one. So, then lastly, I picked up the two of these Fresh Cut Lilacs, the antibacterial hand gel just to take with me since I'm in store to store to store to store. These are really convenient for that. I think they had these also five for eight dollars for these in particular. Do you know I sat up here and forgot that I had the white t-shirt fine fragrance mist. Currently Bath and Body Works has going on buy three get three free for body care. At the time of this video. So you better get it. While the, get, while the getting is good. I did not see. And I like to see this Bath and Body Works. Just in case you're watching. This needs all the perfume. 3.4 ounce. I'm not hating with the 1.7 ounce. I just feel like. You know. If a woman such as myself. Like to. Uh, I'm a perfume girl. All the perfume girl. Yeah, we need a perfume. I got this fine fragrance mist too. Definitely smells like a white t-shirt. Perfect for those days where you're just stepping out casually or going to run errands. That's why I picked up a Bath and Body Works. I wanted to pick up more, but I just 
wanted to see what they had, basically. You know, you can't get everything. <laughs> and everything might not be your taste in fragrance. Like me, I like the Gourmand. So that's the only reason why I got what I got, including white t-shirt. I kept hearing that being ranted and raved about and looked up the notes. And I said, you know what, let's, let's give it a try. Take the plunge. I love each and every one of you. And I will see you all next time.